The next tool I'm going to go over <clears throat> is the Quick Pick tool. Uh, I looked at the Quick Nav tool, and it is the exact same as the Bloodhound tool. It does the exact same thing. It even turns Bloodhound on. I don't know why it's its own thing. Quick Pick, though, is a camera app that is inside of ATAC. So say I take a picture of my little speaker there. Click OK. It's going to immediately import this photo into ATAC along with its location that I took it, which isn't true, uh, the direction I was facing when I took it. Here is the photo. If I want, I can overlay some metadata onto it. The metadata includes this little uh, like compass on top, what direction you're looking, additional information about where you were looking. Uh, I know right here for elevation and inclination and error it says null, and that's because again my GPS is turned off, this is not actually where I am. But you can take pictures and import them into ATAC with their own uh, icon and like view sector, which is kind of neat. And you can send it to your guys. So. Quick pick, it's pretty useful. Um, in testing though, I have found that the camera in Quick Pick is not as good as my just phone's camera. I'm currently running this testing on a Samsung phone and like if it's nighttime and I use the Samsung camera, the pictures turn out really good. It takes awesome nighttime photos. Or if I take a picture using the Quick Pick camera, they really don't turn out that well. Um, I think just the camera program in here isn't that sophisticated. Uh, so for things that really matter, I will take the picture with my Samsung camera app, and then I'll import the photo into ATAC, and then attach it to an icon somewhere and get about it that way. The pictures end up being better. But test for yourself.